Hello, my name is Ronnie. I'm going to teach you some English. It's going to be great. It's going to be easy, I think. Something that a lot of you have difficulty with in English is nouns, verbs, adjectives, and all those other crazy, crazy things that we have in English. I'm going to teach you two tricks that will help you when you're trying to figure out if a word is a verb or a noun, or when to use a verb, is it a noun, do what? So, today's lesson is the birth of a noun. You are going to take a verb. It's going to do some magical things. And by the end of the lesson, it's going to become a noun. So, the birth of a noun. How to change a verb to a noun. The first thing that we're going to do is have a look at the verbs. Mm -hmm. We have the verb employ, develop, move, judge, advertise, and establish. Um, employ, do you know what that verb means? Mm -hmm. Have you heard that verb? Employ, employ. It means use or work. And the next one we have is develop. If you develop something, it basically means you help it to grow. The next one is move. I am moving my right hand, but not my left hand. That would cause much problem. The next one is judge. There's two meanings for... Oh, sorry. There's, there's a noun of judge and there's also a verb of judge. To judge something means to give your opinion. The next one is advertise. Uh, the S and the Z spelling are the same, or the pronunciation are the same. So don't worry. Advertise um, means to tell something. Usually you do it for money. You advertise something on a website or you advertise on TV to get a product and to make you money. The next one is establish. Establish means to make something. So what we're going to do Two tricks. The first trick is we're gonna we're gonna take these verbs and we're going to add three huh three hello four letters to make it a noun. The letters are M E N T meant. So we have the verb employ. The noun changes to employment. <gasps> huh? Did you just say mint and not meant? Mm-hmm. I did. English pronunciation is difficult. In English, we don't say employment. We actually say it like this word, M-I-N-T, like a breath mint. So, all of these words you must spell with M-E-N-T, but your pronunciation is going to be M-I-N-T, like mint. Employment. Next one we have is a development. Employment means job. Development, we use it to mean um, an area that has been developed. You could use it to say it's a building. This is a development of this country or a building of a company. Move, we have the noun of movement. Move, move. Not move, move. Do you know why I got distracted? Because I was thinking of a Bob Marley song. It's called Movement of the People. Movement of the People. If anyone's a Bob Marley fan out there, um, movement of people, it's a good way to remember what this word means. Movement basically means a group of people who try and change something in society. So movement is a group of people. Next one, judge, judgment. It means the same, the noun and the verb. You give your opinion of something. Advertisement. An advertisement you will see on the subway. You will see everywhere you go, everywhere you look in the world. People are trying to sell you something in an advertisement. We usually shorten the word and just call it an ad. Next one. 
is establish, changes to establishment. Hmm. I don't know, for some reason I don't like the word establishment. Hmm. Establishment means something that has been established. We usually use it in the form of government or、um, politics. It can also mean a place,、um, like a restaurant. I like restaurants. And the next trick, trick number one, is you take the verb, you change it to a noun using meant or mint. Employment. Blah, 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 blah. Fast forward. The next one is this word, ack. Ack, act. The other way to make a verb into a noun is to add i o n. So when you look at this word, it looks like act, act on, act on, act on. No. Once again, English pronunciation is very strange. And it's actually said action. Or action. So I would say this word action. Some people might say action, but that would be a French Canadian accent, so that would be wrong. <laughs> so you say action. The next one, inspire. Do you know what inspire means? It's a verb, it means to influence someone, usually in a positive way. So Maybe you have a teacher, or you had a teacher, or someone in your life that inspires you. It means you look at them and go, Oh, wow, that person's cool. I want to be like that person. So, inspire as a noun will change to inspiration. This one we have to change a little bit. But we're still adding the i o n at the end of the verb. So, inspire, change to inspiration. The next word is protect. Protect means you guard or care for something.、Um, to change this, you're going to add the i o n and it's going to become, become protection. Protection. And I think I'm going to save the best for last here. Destroy. So you look at this and you go act, action, inspire, inspiration, protect, protection, destroy. Destroyshin! Destroyshin! <gasps> not a word. Oh, what are you doing? Destroyshin is not a word. For some reason, we want to change this word into a noun. We use a different verb. We're going to take the word destroy as a noun and we change it to. Destruction. The verb changes a little bit, the,、um, the spelling changes, the meaning's the same. To destroy something means to completely ruin it so it's no longer there. And then we have the noun destruction. If you'd like some more instruction, go to ingvid.com. Bye.